Okay, so here we go. Uh, drawing my life. Let me preface this by saying I absolutely suck. Suck at drawing. It will become evident very quickly. Also, I'm holding my pen a little oddly because I am left-handed. That's not normally how I hold a pen, but when you are working with dry erase and your hand drags, as lefties do, um, if I held it like a normal person, it would start to smear, which it does as we go. Okay, so let's get started. So many, many, many years ago, in the great state of Illinois, just outside Chicago in the suburbs, actually that would be Skokie, didn't put that in there, I was born, before most of you, actually. There's my dad and my mom, and then that's me swaddled. Like I said, not so good. Anyway, I was born to my mom and dad. I was the first kiddo, and my first home was in a little apartment building. And I have no recollection of this whatsoever, but I was told there was green shag carpeting in my bedroom. That was the 70s. Pretty soon after that, we moved to a townhouse. That's my attempt at a townhouse. And this I remember a little bit more. My uh, strongest memories are it was a hill in the backyard, which was probably not much of a hill, but I remember rolling down it and sliding down it on the grass and then sledding on it in the winter time. And then um, there's my mom and dad again and me. And then when I was three, my little brother showed up. My little brother, who by the time I was six and he was three, was bigger than me. And right after that, we got a dog, a three-year-old Cocker Spaniel named Buffy. And it was just the four of us. Um, when I was about five years old, just before kindergarten, we moved to a nicer suburb on the north shore of Chicago. And it was a very small home, three-bedroom, bi-level. That's my attempt at a bi-level house. And the, my favorite part of the house was there was a big apple tree in the front yard, right up against the house, actually. And I used to spend many, many hours sitting in the tree reading books. That was what I did. When I wasn't in the tree reading, I was in the library. And one story is my mom dropped me off at the library where I sat down in a corner and read. That's me reading. And the fire alarm went off. And I was so engrossed in the book that I didn't hear the alarm. I didn't notice everyone evacuating. Um, I didn't see the fire truck right outside the window or the flashing lights. And then finally I looked up and thought, where did everybody go? By that time it was an all clear and everyone was back. So when I was growing up, the neighborhood I lived in had lots and lots of little boys my age, not so many girls. And I used to run with the boys and I kind of bossed them all around and made them do what I wanted. So we played a lot of Star Wars and Cops and Robbers and things like that. When I was in first grade, I had a unique talent for learning. And I was in uh, classes pretty much all by myself, little pull-out groups. So right at the beginning of second grade, they decided that I would do better moving straight on to third grade. So I, I basically skipped third grade, or second grade. I skipped it. Um, one of the, I was very much a tomboy. And um, I didn't really like dolls, but my mom did buy me one of those giant Barbie heads that you can play makeup with and everything. I promptly chopped off all of her hair, gave her a crew cut, and used the hair for some project. I'm not entirely sure what. So up until fourth grade, all of my closest friends were boys. I didn't have a single girlfriend to speak of. And then in fourth grade, I met my first girlfriend named Linda. And why am I drawing hearts? And, oh, um, we did not fall in love. What I was basically going to say is that the rest of my childhood was pretty much hearts and flowers. Um, I have no bad memories to speak of and very nice small town life growing up. Um, the most traumatic thing that happened to me was in 8th grade when my mother decided that it was time to cut my hair since I didn't know how to take care of it. She had it professionally cut and I looked like a boy. It was horrible. When I wasn't playing with the neighborhood kids or reading, I spent all day every day in the summer at the beach. Our um, town that I grew up in is on Lake Michigan and I loved it. Okay, now moving on. We're done with high school and... Um, I moved on to the University of Illinois. Woohoo! ILL! INI! Yay! I loved college. It was great. Loved the University of Illinois. I did rush. I went Greek. I joined a sorority, Phi Sigma Sigma. And this was my first exposure to girly stuff, really. I had no idea what it was like to be a girl. I just, I didn't know how to blow dry my hair or anything until I joined a sorority. So, couldn't decide on a major. Went through a few before I settled on sociology, pre-law, which I absolutely loved and um, highly recommend. So I made it through four years, graduated with distinction in my major, and um, 
Now what? Had no idea. Had not applied to grad schools or anything. Decided to spend a summer as a camp counselor. And um, I drove, I also drove the school bus to pick the kids up to take them to camp. Well, when I went to go get my driver's license to drive the school bus, I was um, at the DMV and I saw this hot guy with muscles. Those are my, that's my attempt at muscles. And um, apparently he felt mutually enamored. Two months later, yes people, two months later, my husband, my now husband, asked me to marry him. And I said yes. So, I'm engaged, I have a college degree, I have no career, I have no, no idea what I'm doing with my life. I know that I love to read, I love to talk, and I love to learn. So what do I do with a interesting yet useless bachelor's degree in sociology? Well, when my mom was pregnant with me, there she is, there's me, my mom has red hair, that's my attempt at red hair, she taught second grade. And the other big influence in my life at that time was my husband's, my, my future husband's mother, who was also a kindergarten teacher. They convinced me to get my master's in education. So for the next two years, I, uh, I applied, I was accepted um, before the fall term started, and I spent the next two years getting my master's degree which I then graduated in May of 96. Yay, finally, now I can earn a living. In the meantime, oh, there I am getting my uh, first job. My first job, I was a reading specialist, and they, the school that hired me didn't have enough time for all day work, but only half time. But there was another campus in the same district that also needed a half time reading specialist. So for that school year, I went back and forth about 10 miles every day between the two schools. So while I was working and studying in the Chicago area, that's my attempt at Missouri, sorry people who live there, my husband was in law school in St. Louis, and we did a lot of back and forth driving between St. Louis and Chicago as often as we could. And finally, the driving came to an end, and we got married. Yay! So now we got married, and we are off to the great state of Texas, San Antonio, where my husband had his first job. And we decided to add to our little family. And the day after we got back from our honeymoon, we got Rookie, my first baby, my great love. So there we are in our first little apartment. We were on the first floor there, and it was right next to a golf course. It backed up to a golf course. My husband was in absolute heaven, but it was torture because it was a private golf course, so he could only get on if he snuck on. There's Rookie. He's out on our little patio. It was fenced in. Um, Anyway, I was teaching second grade now and here in San Antonio, and being the psycho planner that I am, I looked at the school calendar, counted uh, two weeks past the end of the school year, and then counted backwards 40 weeks, and said, we can try having a baby now, right there. So we tried, and guess what? It worked! First shot, and our first human was born in June of 1998. And there he is. So cute, the little guy. Not so little now. He's he has green eyes. Uh, if you want to know what he looks like, um, look at picture me as a boy, and there you go. Um, August of 2000, got a lot of guilt from parents. Moved back to Chicago, gave it almost a two-year try, and moved back to Texas. Um, loved the family, but couldn't stand living back in Chicago after having enjoyed Texas so much. While we were in Chicago, though, the one really good thing that happened was I gave birth to Elvis. Seriously, my second child came out with a full head of hair and sideburns and looked very much like Elvis. Thankfully, it all fell out. Um, we moved back to Texas. I got a big house because that's what you do in Texas. And now we have, it's the four of us and Rookie. And then we got Bosley. Mimi came a little bit later. And obviously, Wrigley recently joined the crowd. And there we all are. Now I'm a stay-at-home mom, have been for a while, but I still found myself spending most of my time either at home or at school, back and forth and back and forth. A lot of volunteering, PTA stuff. Very much enjoyed it. Um, and then about three years ago, I was homesick. You've all heard this story. If you haven't, it's in an old video. Um, and I discovered this thing called YouTube. That's me trying to be cute with the drawing. Not so good. What is it? Started watching it. Started making my own videos, got all the way up to 19 subscribers, and was thrilled. And now it's a modest 26,000, but I could not be happier, humble, more humbled, and more grateful for all of you in my life. So 
Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know I sound kind of flippant, but really, um, whatever I've given to you in your lives is nothing compared to what I've gotten from y'all in return, and I just don't know what I'd do without you, so thanks. <laughs>